Isagi's lefty shot is broken, and today I'm going to show you why, so make sure to stick around till the end. The time when Isagi got the idea of doing this was in chapter 208, as Igaguri said that he had mastered the techniques to draw fouls on anyone who dared to challenge him from his right side. And somehow this has made Isagi think about the term 100% as Igaguri told Raichi that he would dramatically sell the fouls he makes. This would mean that Igaguri would make sure that he gets a favorable call at all times, which means that he couldn't be defeated in his eyes. The reason this is so important is because earlier in that chapter, Isagi told Hiyori that whatever he was doing was not good enough as he reckoned that there was no point unless his chances of winning were 100%. Because even if he were to continue the training that he was doing up until that point and level up successfully, his chances of winning against Kaiser were only about 50%. He even acknowledged that he was only able to play freely in his match against Manshine City because of Noel Noah supporting Isagi, but he won't become the best player in the world if he continues to rely on him. This is what gave Isagi the spark for the winning formula that he came up with, which would ensure that he destroyed Michael Kaiser as he thanks Igaguri and runs off into the distance. He ran towards the training room as he knew the person that could help him, which was Kunigami Rensuke. But I believe that this can go much further than just Michael Kaiser, so stay with me. In chapter 213, we finally get to see what Isagi was going to ask Kunigami as he realized that his direct shot's weakness was that he could only shoot accurately with his right foot, which meant that he wanted to have some form of ambidexterity, which is something that Kunigami attained for himself after copying Noel Noah's physical abilities, which is why Isagi wanted Kunigami to teach him how he would be able to shoot off both of his feet. Kunigami looked at him with disgust as he asked him what he was talking about all of a sudden, as it felt like he didn't want to teach it to Isagi. So after that, Isagi asked him if he could train with him instead so that Isagi could study how he uses his body. But Kunigami refused that offer as well as Isagi would just end up destroying his specs. Kunigami was forced to become two-footed to survive in the wild card, but the only reason he was able to pull it off was because he had the necessary physical attributes for the task at hand. Kunigami was already pretty capable physically and had a very competent left foot. So once he entered the wild card, he just had to refine his specs and work hard on his right leg to give him the kind of ambidexterity that Noel Noah has or at least get close to it. If Isagi were to bulk up in the wrong places, his body balance would go out of whack, which would mean that there would be a greater chance that his performance would deteriorate. So trying to copy what Kunigami does would be useless, as Isagi got the wrong perception about the way he levels up, as Kunigami told Isagi to not even think about getting stronger using shortcuts. A bit later on in that chapter, when the Egoist Four had their Kumbawa reunion, and we're about to play a two versus two match since Bachira wanted to train with Kunigami as well. And the reason for him doing that was because he wants to know how effective his new dribbling skills are against top level opponents. And after that moment, Isagi realized something very important, which was that both Bachira and Chigiri acquired new weapons since they joined the Neo Egoist League. But it's not like they completely changed their playstyle as they made minor adjustments to further maximize the weapons that they already possessed in the first place which was Bachira's dribbling through his new Ginga and Monster style, and Chigiri just honed in his speed by focusing on those muscles when he was training inside of the Manshine City Stratum. And because of that, Isagi realized that he might not even need to change everything, as he noticed that he was very hung up about being two-footed, when in reality he just wanted a customized weapon for his left foot so that he could maximize his strongest weapon as well, which was his direct shot. While he continues to level up that primary weapon of his, he can just acquire a secondary weapon that complements it, as he said that the two versus two match that day gave him a hint regarding his lefty direct shot, which led him to score his first goal in the Neo Egoist League when Bastard Munchen played against Ubers. But does anyone know the true implications of this? Because this is something that can lead him right to the world class levels. Right before Isagi scored that goal, Ness told Isagi that when Lorenzo gets in Kaiser's way, it's his job to crush Isagi by any means necessary, as he displayed his confidence in being able to destroy destroy his weapon, and after studying Asagi's direct shot, he realized that it was trash as a defective shot that he could only shoot with his right foot wouldn't work at the world-class levels. He was very confident that Isagi was finished once he would be knocked off balance, because just a short while earlier they finished their match against Manshine City, and his shooting ability was complete garbage there, so I understand where Ness is coming from here. But yet out of nowhere, he scored a goal with his left leg as he caught Ness by surprise. The most frightening thing about this is that it was already effective after such a short time training before the match, which shows the potential that this 
lefty shot has. For context, the time he had in between trying out his new idea and the match was only five days. In chapter 219, when Oliver Aiku ran towards Isagi Yoichi, he said that a shitty bluff like that wouldn't work on him. When Isagi was preparing to shoot with his left foot again, Aiku knew that his lefty foot was only 40% of his right foot's power. It's still amazing that he's done it in such a short time span, but it's very unpolished since Aiku was able to shut him down easily, so something that we could expect is Isagi to have bumped it up to about 70 to 80 percent. The reason for me thinking this is because Bastard Munchen was the team that sat it out after their match against Ubers, which means that they had a very big chunk of time to improve. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. Now we should talk about the ways Isagi can improve his shooting techniques. One thing he needs is improved range, because Isagi only knows how to shoot within the penalty box. That's very important nonetheless, because in Chapter 2, Ego Jinpachi himself said that about 75% of all the goals that are scored in soccer are from the little area that we call the penalty box, as it's practically the domain of a striker. However, if he doesn't improve his shooting range, his plays could become very predictable, and it would be more difficult in general for him to score because he has to be within the penalty box. Just having the other option will enhance his unpredictability a lot. A good example of this is the thing Asagi said in Chapter 2. 225 when Raichi was man-marking Snuffy. He mentioned that with him constantly in Snuffy's face, they could limit a lot of his options, and if they had to consider a ton of options, it would be impossible to predict the future, which is exactly what Isagi should be aiming for, when improving his power in both legs. If Raichi could limit even one or two of Snuffy's options, then the number of attacking patterns Snuffy can use would decrease, which is exactly the state of Isagi's direct shot. Another thing that would improve Isagi's shooting ability is if he learns how to shoot curved shots like Itoshi Rin. The reason why this could be very important is that not only does he need to be inside of the penalty box to score, he needs to get rid of defenders as well. And the perfect way to eliminate this would be through a curved shot. An interesting thing to note here is that we've already seen Isagi doing curved shots. The first time we saw him do this was in his game against Rin, Tokimitsu, Aryu, and Bachira, as he shot the ball towards the goal in between a couple of players which would significantly increase his options, as it also ties into the unpredictability factor. We saw him doing this in the Neo Egoist League as well as he had to make a control shot on target. We even saw this in Bastard Munchen, their match against FC Barca, when Isagi passed the ball to Kunigami from the left side. Now the cherry on top to make Isagi unstoppable would be him gaining the ability of Predator Eye to complement his newfound shooting ability. And it would make even more sense if you consider that Kaiser is the person he was and still is chasing after, as he was embodying Isagi's ideal movements on the field when Isagi was watching him play when he was on the bench in the FC Barca match. And as we've seen, Predator Eye basically enables you to find the smallest gaps to shoot from in order to make a goal. A perfect example of Predator Eye in action would be in Chapter 181, when Bastard Munchen was playing against Manshine City, as it looked like the Manshine guys had completely blocked his shot course, yet Kaiser still managed to shoot one through four players into the net, which is something that Isagi would never be able to pull off in situations like that, as he had to over-rely on his meta-vision, or rather two meta-visions, if you combine Hiyori to be able to beat Michael Kaiser, which is why I also think that Isagi hasn't truly beat Michael Kaiser, just as Nagi didn't truly beat Isagi as well when he worked with Ryo to get his first goal in the Neo Egoist League, as he completely destroyed both Isagi and Michael Kaiser in that split second. But what Nagi failed to realize is that the battle is not over yet, which is the case for Isagi as well. There's another version of Predator Eye, though, which Baru put into display when he played against Bastard Munchen. In Chapter 216, we get to know that the Predator Eye uses its senses to see the moment its prey relaxes and drops its guard, which in this case was the goalkeeper Gagamaru. And once Gagamaru got into a split-second blind spot, it would be too late already as this version of Predator Eye requires super high levels of teamwork, which led to Baru scoring a goal with his stealth kill shot. The final thing I want to mention is something we've seen top goal scorers in Blue Lock do, which is shielding themselves when they're shooting. There are two examples of players doing this that I want to give here with the first one being Shidu Ryusei. 
in the third selection. In chapter 101, Isagi was moving up the field as Shidu was asking Isagi to pass the ball to him. Isagi noticed that he got his back to the goalpost as he realized that he could shake Chigiri off with a 1-2 and then shoot, which is why Isagi thought that linking up with Shidu would increase his chances of getting a goal. But the opposite happened as Shidu turned around a defender of Team B to shoot a high-spin drive shot, which would enhance his options and his unpredictability even more than it already has with the things mentioned before. The other version of this that I want to highlight is Noel Noah's goal in Chapter 165. Noah tapped the ball up while using Lavinio's body to balance himself as he threw himself in the air and shot the ball into the net through the use of his ambidexterity. And in Chapter 208, we've seen Asagi do a version of it when he was practicing with Yukimiya. Hiori passed the ball towards Asagi as he used off-the-ball movements by exploiting his blind spot like he did when he destroyed Naruhaya, then used his body to lean onto him and tap the ball up, which led Led to him ramming the ball into the net after that, which was very likely inspired by Michael Kaiser and Noel Noah. Now we just need to see him doing this inside of an actual match, and I hope that we will get to see this when Bastard Munchen has to play against PXG. If Isagi were to combine his improved shooting ability with Predator Eye, Metavision, and Shielding, he would be completely unrecognizable and become a regular goal scorer on top level. Watch this video next where I explain why Kiora Jin will side with Isagi Yoichi.